What's up, everyone? Sean here, and welcome to this uh, rapid fire style review for the movie Shaft of the 2019 version. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, a rehash or revival, I guess, to see if um, any interest for you know for Shaft is uh, rekindled for anyone. Um, doesn't really do much with the you know the formula for Shaft. So for those who are familiar with Shaft, um, this is kind of a treat because the movie itself was actually pretty decent. I went to go see uh, last weekend with friends. Uh, we watched it in a is in the most like regular format, you know, just um, as standard as you can get with no IMAX, no Dolby Digital or, or Dolby Cinema, anything like that. Even with the red seat, the classic red seats and all. Um, the standard format is what we got with Shaft, just because the timing wasn't, you know, working with all the other formats. But I think this one just does the job as well, because this is something you don't really, you know, don't really expect much from this movie. I guess, um, at least that's what I what I thought um, going to this. Excuse me, going into this um, to this theater. And speaking of which, for the actual theater. There were actually just even like not not even like a, a third of you know seats filled with people, which is kind of sad considering um, the overall like thoughts I have for the movie. Like I said, it actually isn't that bad. It's actually pretty decent. Um, if for those who love Samuel Jackson, you'll definitely want to go see this movie because it just exudes the charisma and that finesse and all all the. Um, you know, all that charm that you love from Samuel Jackson is definitely still there. He's still got it as Shaft. Uh, for those who aren't too familiar with Shaft, he's kind of like um, a vigilante sort of uh, detective. Um, he is the man, as people like to call him. Um, he gets hit, uh, he gets what he wants the way he does um, his thing. Um, he, I guess, I believe he used to be a cop and then... Uh, uh, eventually, he just you know wanted to do things on his own uh, in his own way. So yeah, he is a private investigator who you know solves cases, doing it his own way. Like I said, uh, very very big emphasis on that, and he doesn't just not care um, how people feel about that for the most part. Um, this does involve with his son this time around. Uh, that's like the big. Uh, story point or story, um, plot point, I guess, is having a son this time around. He's always kind of like solo. He's always, you know, ha um, had his way with the ladies and stuff like that. Um, and of course, he was actually the son of the previous Shaft. Um, Shaft originated from the 70s, I believe. I don't know exactly from the top of my head. I, and I forget hit the act, the original actor's name, forgive me, but um, I'll try to, I, try to look it up, I guess. But uh, so there are still, you know, two in total of like two main incarnations of Shaft, and uh, Samuel L. Jackson is probably the most well known out of out of the two, anyway. And of course, like I said, it, this involves with his son, um, uh, Junior, pretty much is called or John uh, John Shaft Junior, I believe. That is pretty much like the main theme around it, and that, and how like Shaft kind of handles the fact that he has a son. Um, and not and not that he wasn't aware of anything he you know he, he was well aware about it um, pretty much it starts off with him um, on his own because um, his wife slash girlfriend or spouse uh, left him because his lifestyle was just too dangerous it was just too much for herself and their son and she didn't she did not want um, the son to turn out exactly like Shaft. Um, throughout his life, and pretty much like kind of acts like a um, a running gag throughout because you know she kind of raised him to be super clean and stuff like that. So he's kind of into like coconut water and like a lot of the things that um, you know millennials do today and stuff. So he's he's like pretty much like a clean cut. He has a degree and everything. He's working at the FBI um, as a data analysis and you know the hoopla whatever and then Shaft is just like very old school he's the badass he you know roughs up people to get his answers and stuff like that very old school and he just um, very straightforward old-fashioned that kind of guy and those two you know those two things gonna clash 
at times in a very entertaining way. Um, and I, like I said, overall, it is pretty decent. It, I, um, there were some points where I, I was um, laughing pretty good, um, especially with my uh, with my friends, and exudes again like it, it exudes that uh that classic shaft sort of um vibe almost with uh samuel jackson and uh somewhat uh, probably with the um the very original og shaft uh with the um <laughs> well the previous actor I, i'm still trying to look it up but um from a technical as uh, aspect of things, the music was really good. It was it had that funk, that nice like seventies like funk to it. Of course, you know, gotta have that soundtrack. And of course, it had a blend of like modern songs and whatever. So you kind of have to expect that for a film in this era. Um, but it still has awesome tracks. It really um, was really cool on that part. For you know, pl- you know, going back to that era and like just. Um, play those playing those tracks was just, um, really good to hear again um, it was just really awesome so the uh, all right so the uh, I've actually found out the the OG shaft's name I believe and it is Richard Roundtree yes uh, I I definitely recognize his name or uh, his face rather than his name so yeah um, forgive me on my uh, my foggy memory on that one but um yeah, so he definitely is the um, the OG Shaft, the first black action hero, that sort of um, thing. And um, in the trailer, as you can tell, he makes it he, he makes an appearance, and um, the OG Shaft is definitely a treat to see because you know, despite the age, he still looks pretty good, and he still like is funny. He still has that like OG Shaft sort of vibe as well. Um, from what I can kind of remember in the past, but um, of course now you know you have like uh, OG Shaft and then uh, Shaft the second technically because you know they're they're all John Shafts uh, pretty much and then uh, of course and then now you have the son uh, John, John Shaft Jr. So uh, so you have triple the Shafts and so it's you know I guess it, in a way it by that logic is triple the fun and like I said um it it, it is fun it is a fun, th- a fun film if you, you kind of lower your expectations a bit there's like not a whole lot going on with the story so it's not too complicated pretty easy to follow it uh, involves with a drug um ring I guess or drug operation don't want to give it away too much but that's like like that's pretty much like the basics of what's going on with the with uh in that in that story and um uh, another another th- point from a technical aspect is the cinematography i love the colors it's just super bold um very very like rich on color uh and in, in a non like obnoxious way like really brung out the, the the skin tone and stuff like that which is like a nice change from like um, kind of like that washed out look from uh, a number of like uh, modern movies nowadays and so we're seeing a film like this is just glistening and refreshing in a way so in that aspect I do like I do like that I like the graphics and stuff like that the colors the um, the cinematography like I said and um, and of course the music the uh, and of course the um, the acting and stuff like that. If I haven't said it already, the rest of the cast were pretty good. Um, the son or J- uh, junior, um, I forget his act, the actor's name, but um, he he pretty much played. You know, was able to you know pull off a convincing like son of Shaft, like who is trying to learn the way the the old school ways of the Shafts and. Uh, kind of clashes like what he knew from the past, so it it was interesting in that aspect, and it was funny along the way too, where um there was that scene where you know oh he's like he, you know Junior is like oh you can't hit women it's misogynistic or whatever blah 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 and then you know Shaft is like well I don't give a shit like I I just beat everyone equally pretty much <laughs> you know um that's pretty much like the 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 gist of it for that scene um. Well, yeah, like pretty much like the highlight, or you know, you the main focus of the cast is pretty much the shafts. Um, you can kind of care less for everyone else. Um, maybe, maybe 
um, Junior's girlfriend or uh, romantic interests or crush. But really, otherwise, everyone else is kind of just like, mm, you know, like that. So I don't really care much for the main villain. I don't really care much for the like the henchman or anything like that. Um, it's all about it's all about the shafts. So um, my only gripe, I guess, one of my main gripes is that I wish we got more of um, the OG shaft who, uh, because he does appear pretty late into the movie and it pretty much is where the climax sort of starts so you kind of wish that he made an appearance a little more but i don't know for some reason like they really wanted to save him for the you know final act or whatever um he's like the big gun i guess in a way um he is pretty badass i will say that much but i don't know it's just i i i i wish that we got more of him but um for what for what it is you know um uh, it was a it was a fun film. Uh, there's really not much to go off of. It's Shaft. Um, it's really funny. Uh, still, even w- it, it, it like actually doesn't doesn't really hold hold any punches or anything like that, or hold back anything when it comes to like the political correctness of a lot of uh, the media that we've been seeing uh, as to today. Especially, especially with like a lot of those writers or people who write those articles where like oh this thing is super offending or oh this is that and this and that and kind of shaft in a way kind of like stabs at it and he just doesn't care about that and um junior is kind of a reflection of that he is the pinnacle of what is today and then shaft is the pinnacle of what was you know um in the past essentially so it is really interesting to see these clash together and like i said it's really it's a pretty funny process um throughout the film and uh the action scenes uh were pretty good for the most part uh but the highlights were pretty much when shaft is like doing all the interrogation uh, all the information he's trying to extract from the people he comes across or whatever and especially like with um when he goes to like this ghetto town, ta- uh, ghetto part of town or whatever, and um, you know he finds out, you know who hit his son and stuff like that, and he just roughs him up pretty good. So, um, so that's like pretty much the gist of it for Shaft. Anyway, uh, overall, like I said, it's a pretty decent film, uh, a lot better than what I've expected. I kind of, sh- kind of expect, kind of had that thought and expectations of like oh it's gonna be kind of okay or average or even below average but it actually sort of exceeded in a way um it was just really funny very charming very charismatic um samuel samuel l jackson still got it um it's really nice to see uh, roundtree make it back in there too and interesting to see what is it like for shaft to have a son um, Jesse Usher is the actor's name. So um, again, he, he um, for the roles that they've been given, they did a pretty good job. So yeah, um, they did their their job, and that's pretty much you know all I can say without spoiling things. But um, there's not really much to spoil. Uh, this is just one of it's one of those films that you don't really have to like talk about the story too much, other than oh it's Shaft and it's you know really uh, <laughs> uh, pretty badass. So yeah. So, with all that said, um, I can probably safely and confidently um, say that Shaft, for the 2019 version anyway, gets a strong 7 out of 10 from me. Um, It is recommended, um, I would say, because, again, for those who really like Samuel Jackson, he's still got it. He is still himself. He still got that. He has. He still has that funny voice. He has the delivery. The dialogue was really good too. Um, like I said, the story isn't hard to follow, so you'll won't you won't have a hard time like trying to think about the story, so you won't get yourself lost or anything like that. Um, it's just a good, fun, all around popcorn flick. Um, it's a good watch on Netflix, uh, definitely. Um, but if you can, you know, try to catch it in theaters just to you know give it your support or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, my thoughts on Shaft uh, 2019. Uh, like I said, it's, you know, a uh, uh, pretty decent film, fun, um, a fun, what is it, under two hours and stuff like that. So it's not too long. The pacing wasn't too slow and like that. So um, anyways, if you, have, if you guys uh, watched the film, uh, if you guys have any, like, Shaft-related comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to check them out. 
And thank you for um, you know uh, tuning in for this video. Uh, if you like, if you guys liked it, uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, that supports the channel. Really appreciate it, guys. And of, of course, you can check me out on social media stuff, Twitter, Twitch, and all the other stuff is in the description below. I do have sponsorships like Loot Crate and into the am that's another way to support the channel while you guys get something out of it it's like a discount for example all that information is in the description below so thank you guys so much for my rapid fire style review on shaft 2019 i'll see you guys next time sean out